Hello, I'm Carrie with Cookbook Divas, and I want to look through Cook Beautiful with you today. I did a quick flip through reel of it over on Instagram where we post just little flip through reels, and it looks gorgeous. I can't wait to jump in. The author is Athena Calderon, creator of Ice Wound. I don't know what Ice Wound is. Photography by Johnny Miller. It came out in 2017 ish. It's by Abrams, publisher. There's our author. Uh, chapters are introduction, of course, spring, summer, fall, winter, and then sauces and extras, info on her toolbox and her pantry and her little black book. I assume that's where she shops for things. More info on the contents. There she is. I love her hair. That's pretty. Okay, I'm not going to read the introduction because you can do that on your own if you check this out from your library. And she's writing about her cooking style. And we're starting off with spring. Ooh, pretty. So far, so good. Pictures. Info, starting in mid-April, she heads to Union Square, where New York City's largest green market is in full swing. Okay, what's in season? I love seasonal cookbooks. Apricots, artichokes, arugula, asparagus, cherries, chives, dill, endive, fava beans, fennel, mint, morel, or morels, peas, radishes, ramps, rhubarb, spinach, spring onions, strawberries, and watercress. Okay. First recipe of the book. Gorgeous. Spinach and goat cheese frittata, and a little note about the herbs and how they bruise easily under a knife, so rather than cutting them in the chopping block, trim them with a pair of scissors. Hmm, nice tip. <clears throat> Second recipe of the book, smoked salmon toast with red onion and herbs. Gorgeous. Another little tip. I love that she's including tips with each recipe. Grilled zucchini flatbread with ramp pistachio pesto. Gorgeous. Okay, I can't show you the whole book. I'm skipping ahead. Roasted asparagus and radishes with mustard tarragon vinaigrette. Zucchini and feta fritters with avocado cream. How amazing is that? That looks incredible. Love it. So far, I am loving this cookbook. Charred endive with warm garlic caper lemon sauce. I'm noticing lots of vegetarian options here so far. Okay, here's for you fish eaters. Pan seared salmon with peas, chanterelles, and dill chive sauce. What else? This is gorgeous. A ginger and vanilla bean rhubarb galette. I love galettes. They're so easy to come together. They look rustic and simple. Cherry and apricot polenta crisp. I don't usually bake with polenta, but I could. Ooh, beautiful photos. Gorgeous. They've done a good job with this book. Yogurt panna cotta. The spring table. Beautiful. So little hints on decorating for your guests. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Not sure what this is about. It says number eight, verdant variety. Number nine, that's a wrap. Hmm. Okay, I guess it's table setting hints, I guess. Okay, now we are in, I'm assuming this is summer. It doesn't say, but I guess so. In season, basil, blueberries, cilantro, corn, cucumbers, eggplant, green beans, melons, nectarines, parsley, peaches, peppers, plums, raspberries, summer squash, tomatillos, and tomatoes. Okay, obviously it's summer. A duo of summer crostini. Ooh, beautiful. Strawberry and sun gold tomato salad with honey, lime, citronette. That is gorgeous. This, this book is cook beautiful. Pictures in the middle of the author getting supplies. Summer squash salad with arugula and feta. Let me see if I can find some really standout. Well, yes. Peaches and burrata with pickled shallot. I actually had burrata with cantaloupe last night at a restaurant, and if they had included pickled shallot, it would have been life-changing, but they didn't. But it was good. Quinoa tabbouleh with nectarines and heirloom tomatoes. Perfect for summer. Charred eggplant with attar and yogurt tahini. I like Middle Eastern and Mediterranean food like that. Bucatini with spicy summer tomatoes. And that is a perfect portion, not too much. Fish tacos with pickled cabbage and pineapple salsa. Yum. I think I need to move to another chapter, though. But let's see the desserts. How about... See oh, excuse me, that's not a dessert. Cedar grilled halibut with preserved lemon and fennel relish. 
I don't know why I thought that was a dessert. I'm losing my mind. You need more caffeine or less. Green panzanella with grilled chicken payards. Okay, let's move ahead. Let's see some desserts. Oh my gosh, you're going to die. Ready? Ready to die? Lime raspberry tart. How gorgeous is that? Grilled plums with pistachio brittle, peach and blackberry crustatas. So kind of like galettes. Okay, now we're in fall. This will be fun. What's in season in fall? Of course, pumpkin, 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 everything. Cauliflower, broccoli. Roasted pumpkin and Brussels sprouts with poached eggs. I wonder if there's going to be some good soups in here. Ah, I just turned the page and there's a soup. Creamy cauliflower soup with ducca and watercress pesto. <laughs> Gotta find just the good. <laughs> That's kind of boring. Ooh, delicata squash agrodolce. I need to look up what agrodolce is because I can't remember. Roasted cauliflower with lemon zest, parsley, capers, and jalapeno. I cook with cauliflower a lot because it's very easy to work with and you can put interesting stuff on it. Here's miso glazed carrots with carrot top pesto. I've never made carrot top pesto. I like that idea. Wild mushroom risotto, slow roasted arctic char with cranberry chutney. The food photography here is stunning. Look at this pan roasted chicken with shallots and dates. And we all know everyone makes chicken every week, so now's another way to make it. One pot stewed pork with butternut squash and walnut gremolata. This is an amazing cookbook. Gorgeous. Okay. <clears throat> the fall table. She's going to teach us how to set a beautiful table setting, etc. But I am going to winter, and here's what's in season in winter. Of course, blood oranges, lentils, persimmons, parsnips, potatoes, sweet potatoes, farro, beets, celery, root, kale, and grapefruits. Chickpea merguez hash. What's merguez? I don't know. White bean toast with radicchio and lemon parsley relish. I think I skipped desserts in fall, but that's okay. You'll be surprised when you pick this up. Chicken soup recipe. Romaine salad with rye crisps and lemon pecorino vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. Winter vegetable roast. I make a lot of those at my house in winter. Uh, Mezzi rigatoni with radicchio and guancial, which I believe is a kind of pig food. I don't know. I'm vegetarian. Whoa. Here's the winter table. Here we go. Braised short ribs with horseradish breadcrumbs and celeriac puree. That sounds like a lot of work. And you can see she's got a tip for us down below, as always. I really appreciate that. Butterscotch pots de creme with salted caramel tahini sauce and toasted kasha. I think I'll skip the tahini myself. Oh, this is gorgeous. Blood orange bundt cake with orange bitters glaze. Now I kind of want to go back and see the fall desserts that I accidentally skipped over because I was trying to not show you the whole book. Let's see if I can find it. Any fall desserts I can quickly look at? Uh, just a carrot cake trifles with mascarpone creme and pecans. Okay, so that is Cook Beautiful. Absolutely blew me away. Gorgeous cookbook. Lots of things I want to make. Plenty of vegetarian options. Wow. Incredible. I'm going to turn off the camera and go sit down in a chair with a glass of iced tea and look through this way more slowly and carefully. Hope you enjoyed this cookbook look through and review. You can see more of them at the Cookbook Divas blog. We have a podcast, we're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Be sure to click like and comment. Please say something nice on our videos if you enjoyed them, because that way the algorithms will learn to show you more of them. Thanks so much for watching.